In some classes, you may be asked to create or share videos with your classmates. So in this tutorial, I will go over using YouTube to upload videos and then sharing them from within Talon. So if we go to YouTube.com, you can either type in www.youtube.com or you can go to Google, search for YouTube and follow the link. In any case, you want to get to YouTube. You can also do this from a mobile device if you have the YouTube app. The first step then is to sign in if you're not already signed in. And if you don't already have a Google account, you'll want to create one, which will be useful anyway because you will get access to things like Google Drive to create Google Docs and Google Sheets, which is a nice alternative to Office or Office 365. So I'll click on Sign In. And if your account isn't already listed here, you may have to click on Use Another Account. And if you do that, it will prompt you to come in, put in your email, or create an account if you don't already have one. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and sign in here under Kirkwood. Once I sign in, it's going to take me to my YouTube homepage, which is going to look very similar to the regular YouTube page, except it might be a little bit more customized to videos that you've actually watched before. When I'm ready to upload my video, I'm going to come up here to this little icon that looks like an arrow and I'm going to click on where it says upload. And this is going to allow me then to either select a video or drag and drop it into this spot. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to find a video. Now there's a couple settings here to be aware of. One here is public. You can make this public, unlisted, private, or scheduled. Public videos will be visible to everyone. Unlisted videos will only allow those that have the link to view the video. This is the most common setting that may, mainly students will use so that their videos aren't necessarily searchable. You don't usually want to use private because that means you have to set it so that only certain uh, people with other YouTube accounts can access it, which makes it really hard because you'd have to know the YouTube account for everyone in your class. Scheduled would be to set the video uh, to come out at a later time. So in general, you're probably going to want to choose unlisted. You want to choose a title for your video and then a description. And then you can put tags if you want. For the, we're going to make this one unlisted for now. You'll see the link over here. Your video will be live at uh, this link. You can copy this link or we can get this later as well. So uh, we can see this here. I can take this and I can copy it. I can control C to copy it. Or I can come over here and I can click embed and I get an embed code, which is a lot of really funky code, but I can copy that as well. Now I'm going to go into Talon and I'm going to open up this discussion. My instructor has asked me to paste this video in the discussion. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. I'm going to start a new thread. And I can do a couple different things. One, I can click on this insert stuff and one of the options here is to enter an embed code. So I can take that embed code that I took from YouTube here, make sure it's copied, and then I can paste it and click insert. And there's my video embedded right here in the page. Now I can click on post. If I want to create another one where I just want to paste the URL, I can click on start a new thread. And again, I can do this a couple different ways too. So if I want to just grab the URL here, I can control C, copy it. I can paste it this way. Or I can come over here and I can click this, click this insert quick link button. And I can put a URL here. I can paste the URL here and I can call this my video and insert. This is a little bit cleaner and is a little bit more accessible for other students. So this is definitely a better recommended way to do it 